Hi, this is David of Inspect Canada. One of the very common deficiencies that we find on homes are foundation cracks. Most of the time when we see foundation cracks, we look for clues in the inside of any kind of settlement. But once in a while, the house has been newly renovated, so all these signs of settlements are basically gone. So the best thing to do with any kind of foundation crack, even if it has really good overhangs and it will never get any water onto it, is to seal it. Sealing it will help you in a few different ways. First, it will prevent water from getting through this crack. Second, once you sell this house and the home inspector walks around the house and notice these foundation crack, if they've been sealed, they can't see there's an old sealant on it. They'll be okay, there was a crack there, it's been repaired many years ago, and obviously it has not reopened. And another third really good reason is so that you can keep an eye on it. Let's say next year after fixing it, you walk around and you can see that it has opened up a little tiny bit. Now you know that there might be some ongoing issues. Maybe your drains are not getting rid of the water properly and now your foundation wants to sell a little tiny bit. There could be all kinds of problems. So sealing it will let you know if it's an ongoing uh, crack, if there's ongoing movements, or if this is something that happened when they poured this foundation, it cracked a little tiny bit when it cured, which is extremely common. And now basically you have a sealant in there to prove that it's no longer an issue. Now I have, the, if you go to Home Depot or Rona or wherever, you'll find all kinds of sealant for that. I have what this one is called here, concrete fix. It's designed for concrete cracks. And uh, this is what we're gonna use. Now, whenever you open a caulking, um, tube like this it's good to make it not too big you want to cut it on the 45 and uh and then go with this so i'll show you exactly how i would do this i'll find a little spot i cut it just like this just a little 45 degree i use my gun right here there's a little bar to just poke the end of this and then we'll hide that in there and then i'll put my gun in here and then we're ready to go so this is the little tiny hairline crack that I want to keep an eye on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that this is a nice and clean surface to get the proper bonding from the sealant here. And I'm going to use my concrete sealant to start applying a nice little bead on it, not too thick. It's going to go all over it. And then you can either use your finger or something a little bit wet. I got a little bit of a wet towel here and I'm just gonna smooth it up a little bit. Make sure that we have it all over the place. All right. All right, so right now this crack has completely disappeared. This will give us a way to see if it opens up. If next year you see this crack through the ceiling, then something happened, we have ongoing movements. When you get a home inspection, the home inspector is only there for about three to four hours. So often those clues might not be showing and it might be something that's happening extremely slowly as well. So now this will give you the option to monitor it. So as you can see, going around the house, looking for all these cracks and filling them up like I just did there is really a two minute job that could save you a lot of problem later on. When we do a home inspection and we see cracks on the foundation, it always stresses the client and also and then when we get in the inside, we look for clues. Are the windows and the doors, are they square, plumb and level? Do we have any ceiling cracks? Um, you know, do we have any exposed wall in the basement that we can see if there's any cracking or anything like this? But if we don't see anything, it still doesn't mean that there's not an ongoing problem. So the best way to fix it is to seal it and then wait and then see if there's any ongoing movements. If there's a problem, then you can act on it and, and repair it before it becomes something very expensive. So as you could see, it's pretty easy to get it done yourself. All you need is a little alpha knife to cut the end of that uh, sealant tube there. And uh, this tube was roughly about $10. It's a very, and plus right now, I've only used barely anything out of it. This is good for almost a lifetime. So this is something you can do yourself and it's very important to do and please take the time to do it. And if you're not gonna do it, just get a professional to go around and make sure that all these cracks are sealed up. All right, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe and click the little bell to make sure you get a, no a notification whenever we add a new video. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a beautiful day.